Hi there, Alex here at mixinglessons.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the quick punch feature in Pro Tools, which is really useful for when you're recording and you've recorded some audio and you want to keep some of it, but you want to drop in part way through and re-record part of it. It's a feature that you'll use quite a lot in that instance. And it's great for, let's say you're recording yourself singing, or maybe you're recording somebody else play guitar or any other instrument. That's a time when you'll get a lot of use out of this feature. So I'm just going to start this recording just to record some audio into Pro Tools. And I'm just recording in the normal way. So I'm not using Quick Punch here. So this could be a vocal track that you're recording, or you could be recording somebody play guitar or whatever it may be. So we'll stop that there. So let's say that you want to keep this part of the recording but then you want to drop in here and you want to re-record from that moment going forwards. Well, if you were to put your cursor here and simply hit record and play in the way that we did before, it would start recording from that part. The problem is you wouldn't hear any of the run up. You wouldn't hear any of this. And let's say this is a vocal track. You would probably want to listen to the part beforehand to prepare yourself to then drop in at that point. So instead, let's undo that. What you can do is you can right click on the record button and select quick punch. And then what you can do is you can go to the beginning and press play. So I'm just going to start this recording just to record some audio. And then we hit record at the point that we want the recording to begin. So as you can see there, that let us listen to the recording up to that point. And then the point where we wanted the recording to start, we hit record and it started recording for us. Now, you couldn't do that if you went in quick punch mode. You wouldn't be able to record whilst the audio was already playing. But if you go into quick punch mode, you can hit record at any point while the audio is playing and any tracks that are record enabled will start to record. So let's say you're recording a drummer and they like what they did in the verse, but they want to drop in for the chorus. You can simply start the track playing and then record just as the chorus begins, just as they start to play. So they get to hear as much of the song as they want to up to the point where they're going to begin. The same would be true if you were recording somebody playing guitar. And as I said, it's really useful if you are maybe recording yourself singing. Now, if you are somebody who does vocal recording, be sure to head over to mixinglessons.com slash free dash downloads to get a copy of my free vocal recording guide, which will teach you how to get great quality vocal recordings in a home studio. Now, let's say, for example, you are recording yourself playing guitar. In that instance, Quick Punch is a little bit less useful because you would obviously have to hit record and then start playing straight away. So you can't really do those two things at once. You can't hit the record button in Quick Punch mode and then start playing. So in that instance, rather than using the Quick Punch feature, what you would want to do is use the pre-roll feature. And I'll leave a link to a video on screen which shows you exactly how to use that. That's another really useful feature in Pro Tools. And Quick Punch and pre-roll are two things that I think you'll get a lot of use out of when you're recording. So hope you found that interesting. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.